Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, you guys are gonna be meal prepping with me. I know this is one of the biggest problems or issues that I hear from a lot of you guys is that diet is the number one thing that you struggle with, staying consistent, knowing what to eat, and just like staying accountable with the whole diet thing. I know it's hard to eat differently than what you've been used to for the past who knows how many years, um, but I'm just here to show you what I've been eating. This is like literally my favorite thing i can eat the same thing almost every day i feel like i say this every time um but i always kind of do around the same thing so i always have some kind of protein some kind of carb and some kind of veggies so my favorite veggies is always broccoli and brussels sprouts and i always like to have like rice or potatoes or like tortilla um so i can always like mix and match my foods even though it's kind of the same ingredients if that makes sense so like i can make tacos with a chicken um and do some kind of like side salad or i can do like a bowl with the rice chicken or even add beans sometimes or sometimes i do steak or um, ground beef so i kind of like switch it up sometimes i cook more than one meat at the same time but being that i'm leaving it's today's monday so i'm leaving wednesday to my family's house um for the week I don't really need to cook that much because I'm only going to be home for the next like two to three days really. So I'm just going to make enough food for that. But usually I cook for the whole entire week. So I really just like to prep my main, so like lunch and dinner. Um, my breakfast, I can easily make that in the morning. It's usually either um, oatmeal, pancakes and turkey bacon or like a bacon, egg and cheese or turkey bacon, egg and cheese. A sandwich so depending on how much time I have in the morning I do one of the three uh, but my lunch and dinner I like to pre make because I definitely don't have time to cook all of that and then my snacks I like to just pre just make sure I have them in the pantry so that way I can grab and go and I'll definitely be showing you guys all of that so if you're ready to meal prep with me keep on watching all right so the first thing I like to start off with is with making my rice just because it does take like the longest so by the time everything else is ready my rice is ready and if you don't have a rice cooker you guys you need to go to target asap because this has been the best purchase kitchen purchase ever so the one that i have is more for like a single person like myself like i live alone so this is perfect for me um so this one i think was like 20 dollars for this one it was yeah, it's really cheap and it's the best. The rice cooks in like 20 minutes and it's super easy. So since I'm not making a lot of rice because I'm not going to be home for too long, I just made two cups of rice and then I just put equal amounts of um, water and I added just a little bit more just so it can stay you know, moist. But also the trick with making rice in the rice cooker is as soon as it's done, unplug it and remove it from like the little like cooker just because it's gonna keep on cooking and it's gonna get really dry. So I like to take it off as soon as it's done so that way it stops. So I put about two, two and a half cups of water and then some Himalayan salt, not too much honestly because I feel like everything else, like the flavors from like everything else is gonna blend together anyway. So all you gotta do is just set it and forget it. So I like to do my veggies in the oven. Again, it's like an easy way for me to not do much. So I set my oven, um, I bake it to 400. Honestly, I kind of just, it's just it's random. Like it's not a specific, like I don't pick 400 for anything specific. I just put 400 and then just eyeball and see when it's ready. <laughs> I eyeball everything. So um, I like to get like this pan. I got this pan from Target as well. Like this is like the best um the best way that i like to cook my veggies so i'm like such a weird eater i like to have my veggies like cut up into like bite-sized pieces because when i'm hungry the last thing i want to do is get a fork and knife and start cutting my food so i like to already have everything prepped and cut so i'm cutting all of these broccolis florets and just making it like bite-sized pieces and then putting them all in the pan all right once i'm done cutting my veggies um, I like to put a little bit of avocado oil just to make sure it stays moist and kind of gets roasted and also some salt and pepper depending on my mood if I feel extra then I like to put in some um, actual garlic like crushed garlic um, but since I'm kind of lazy I'm doing garlic salt instead and some pepper. And now that the veggies is in the oven cooking away now it's time for me to do my chicken so the same way with my broccoli i like to do my chicken i like for it to be bite-sized and also i feel like the seasonings get coated like 
this more in the bite when you have more bite-sized pieces um and also it just cooks a lot faster so i like to just cut up my chicken um into like little as you see here <laughs> i like to cut it that way so once everything is all cut up and in the bowl um, i like to add some vinegar either apple cider vinegar or white distilled vinegar um, whichever you have available is fine and also i like to add some avocado oil so that's going to help coat all the seasonings to the chicken so for seasonings i love to put my adobo all-purpose seasoning with pepper you guys this is a staple staple especially if dominican you already know um so i like to add that all over the chicken and then i also like to add the sazonal total um that's also a staple in my kitchen so good and um after that i like to add some oregano some italian seasoning mrs dash chicken seasoning and then i diced up some onions and some cilantro and that's pretty much it sometimes i like to add um like garlic or like peppers but honestly it depends on my mood but i feel like it always comes out kind of the same and i don't like to add any salt and pepper just because the seasoning already has um pepper in it and it's also like pretty salty so if you add salt and pepper to it it's gonna be real salty so if you follow this recipe do not put salt and pepper trust me all these seasonings that i'm putting in there is gonna make it perfect so the best way for me to cook my meat is on a cast iron pan this is another staple of mine for my kitchen so if you guys um, don't have one definitely invest in one i got this from target as well and i think this was like 30 dollars. so i know like marshall says sells it like so it's not that expensive and this is something that can last forever you can put it in the oven you can cook it outside on the grill like it's so amazing and it just you can actually like roast and like kind of burn in a way your meats and like sear it where it's not going to destroy the pan so definitely a must so i like to put my chicken on there um like medium high yeah medium high until it's like browned outside that's when i know it's like pretty much done so i kind of just like move it around and once i see that it has like a nice brown color as you see here um then i like to add a little bit of water just like a little bit of water just so it can pick up anything that's left in the pan and also kind of creates a little bit of a sauce so that's a little trick there um so yeah so once that kind of thickens up a little bit the chicken is done and then now the broccoli is done so i take it out and i like to put some feta cheese on my broccoli i just feel like it helps jazz it up so as you see here everything is done and meal prepped honestly this probably only took maybe 20 to 30 minutes to cook all of this so it's really easy to um to meal prep um so now on to my snacks i do like to have a little bit variety and snacks as well um so there are a couple of snacks that i like to kind of my staples that i kind of like to have on a daily basis all right so the first combination i love is some rice cakes this is i think the lightly salted one and i like to add some of this creamy cheese this is from aldi so i think it's like an aldi brand um happy farms um but this is like the off-brand version of happy cow so this one is creamy garlic and herb and this tastes so good it's kind of like a cream cheese but it's lower calorie it only has like 30 uh calories so it depends on what your goals are of course like you want to have um you know depending on how many calories calories you want to have in fat so this is pretty low fat i like to keep my fats pretty low because i tend to have a lot of fats um, but if you're trying to gain weight then maybe use um a cream cheese or something like that um so yeah this is usually like my go-to especially because this is so dry by itself i can't i need to have some topping on it and i always like to have some kind of fruit on the side as well so either grapes or um cuties those are my favorite like fruits so i always have that next to this too another option is this pita crackers this is also from aldi super super delicious so i either have this with like um turkey bacon or prosciutto i love prosciutto or one of those like soft cheeses um and that really makes it taste so good so i kind of have the option of two depending on how i feel all right other snack option is the cashew and cranberry almond trail mix i got this from target honestly any trail mix is good but i do like the combination of like raisins and like uh, cashews is my favorite you have trouble with getting enough calories having some kind of food in that mix always 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 helps it has so many calories in here so it's a really good snack to snack on if your goal is to lose some fat or lose some weight just be careful with the serving sizes make sure that you measure it because 
can definitely it can definitely add up that's all i can say but this is another good way um, to get some more calories um, into your day all right last but not least is a uh, built bar protein bars i'm sure you guys have seen me talk about this a lot because this is my favorite protein bars ever um, so this is one of the snacks that i have every single day i usually have it um, after my breakfast in between breakfast and lunch it's just to have something sweet and yummy so these protein bars are amazing because they have about 18 grams of protein and also they're very low in sugar so this one right here has five grams of sugar 18 grams of protein and 20 grams of carbs which is really good um macro sure it's probably backwards huh? you probably can't see it um and about 160 calories per bar which makes it a really good healthy option to have something sweet and yummy and it really tastes like a candy bar because it has like that chocolate like coating on top um and then of course all the different flavors that they have makes it where anyone with any taste palette can enjoy one of the built bars so this one right here is banana bread like you guys how good does that sound so i'm gonna actually open up this bar and show you guys how yummy and chewy it is on the inside it doesn't have like the powdery protein gritty taste i feel like i say that every time but it's really true i feel like almost all of the protein bars are either really dry or really powdery and you can just taste the protein but not with these bars so as you can see like i mentioned it does have like that chocolate coating on the outside um it's so so yummy and then when you bite into it it's so chewy and soft and oh uh, it's literally like a treat it's a treat to have one of these so i'm going to be showing you guys the inside of this i haven't tried this flavor yet so let's see oh wow they really master flavors this really tastes like a banana bread look at that inside so chewy so good so if you're looking for a new protein bar to try out and add into your daily meals, make sure to check out Bill's Bar. I do have a link in the description for this. And also a discount code is DASHA10 and you can get 10% off your order. So who doesn't love to save? But I definitely recommend for you guys to try them out. It's a really good way for you to add protein into your diet. So I know that's something that a lot of people struggle with as well. All right, guys, so that is it for today's meal prep video. As you guys can see, it's pretty easy and simple. You don't have to overthink your meals. You don't have to think that you have to kind of do this whole entire, like, I don't know. I feel like people get really overwhelmed with the idea of meal prepping. But I think this method makes it really easy because like I mentioned, I like to repurpose the ingredients. So let's say for lunch, if I don't feel like having rice, chicken, and veggies, then I'll just use the chicken and make some tacos. Um, and then I can make like a sandwich out of it. I can put it in a salad. So you can kind of play around with the ingredients, but as long as you, as long as you have the main ingredients prepped, it's gonna make it so much easier for you to stay on track. And that's the goal this year, you guys, for 2021. We are not slacking this year, okay? Last year was a bit of a whirlwind, but this year we're getting back on track and we're getting, we're reaching our goals, you know? I feel like a lot of us can see how time passes so fast, how things can change in a split of a second. Might as well just enjoy the time that we have here and make the best of it and be happy and healthy. So hope this, this was helpful. I'm definitely making more meal prep videos. Uh, so let me know what else you want to see. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.